Welcome back to Small British Steps. You find us on the main screen because we've had changes. We have had changes. So uh, game changes. We are on version 2.7, I think, of RP1, which has caused a lot of changes in this game. And it's actually changed how I'm going to approach a lot of things. I've also got a slight uh, modification to the UK Rocket Engines pack that I've got. So if anybody's playing with that, that's been updated uh, to change the Super Sprite a little bit. Uh, because we, I may have forgotten that the Super Sprite is sort of the first stepping stone to the Spectre and the things like that, where we're actually adding um, kerosene into the burn and things like that. So that's that's in there. Um, so so what's what's actually happened? Well, one of the changes I think has affected the amount of um, sort of unlock cost that we get because now we can actually use the unlock cost a lot more freely. And one of the problems that was actually slowing us down. On our, our thing was we weren't getting enough funds built up to actually build out to tool our next rocket so now i don't think that's going to be as much of a problem so we need to have a think about what we're doing to this episode we are going to launch hopefully our let's just scroll this up we're going to launch our derwent j1 that's going to do i hope um, a mission of oxy i'll show you i've accepted the missions for today's start of today's episode the first one well the first one is this long range downrange launch vehicle development we're going to do that it's 240 kilometers downrange gives us a chunk of um, reputation and what's the other thing? I always forget the names. Uh, and then we've got the X-Planes low. I took that even though the plane isn't ready yet because I'm pretty sure the plane can do over 350. And I'm pretty sure it can hold that for three minutes at a, at a fixed altitude. And it's already at 240 days over 120. So we're actually well past it. So we might as well take it 143%. We're getting very limited returns. And that means the next one can generate while that's happening. But it does mean we're going to get a chunk of, uh, of stuff for that as well. So there's two things to get doing there straight away. We do have proficiency in X-15 being trained on a couple of our pilots. That's going to finish soon. Um, so, right. So what's the changes we're going to make? Well, it's going to be a bit of maths. I apologize. So... We're currently looking at 71 funds per day that we're actually we're actually gaining. And we were keeping it at that because we wanted to see that after a year we're getting 26. And we thought that was actually a bit low, but eh, we'll, we'll live with it. Um, I want to increase everything. So I'm going to go to research and we're going to hire. Um, let's see. Let's take up. What's going on here? Oh, that's unlock or balance. Oh, okay. Right, it's actually 100. The unlock credits are how much we're gaining. So we're actually gaining more unlock credits by doing this. I'm going to just keep hiring until we get to, I think, about 50, 60, 160. Okay, what's that done for? And you'll see I've got the dates on here. What's that done for us getting to um, orbital rocketry? 56. And you can see the launch complex is a 56 and five months. So let's go to construction. Let's move that to... 56 and a bit that's still going to be after isn't it um okay i'd like it to be around the same time what have we got coming after that we've got javelins and the next stage of orbital rocketry the reason i'm doing this is because i think i want to get that that supersonic flight allows us to do more more missions with the with the jet which is good but it does take a chunk of time if we actually have a look let's have a look we jump into this it's going to take us 112 days. I'd like to be looking at getting rid of our downrange contracts as quick as possible. So the problem is that we are actually, uh, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's knock that onto there, put that onto there. That changes everything a little bit. Um, potentially we want to move that up as well, but I don't think I need... I don't think I need orbital rocketry 1958 to actually go orbital. I think I can go orbital before that. Whether I can put the one ton into orbit that I need is another thing entirely, but we can deal with that once we start getting more funds, I suppose. Right. What does this do for us now? So orbital rocketry is here. Um, let's change it back onto dates. Let's have a look. There we go. So orbital rocketry is now going to finish 10th of 10th, 55. So we need to move this up a bit to 10th to the 10th, 55. That's going to be about there. That still means we're going to get 25 funds a day. We're going to get unlock credits of 92. And of course, that's going to be really useful for us because we're doing a lot of unlocking, unlocking right now. Um, I think I'm feeling happier about that. That means sort of 
potentially we're going to be finishing the downrange contracts pretty quickly after that hopefully if we do them if we get the, the enough crew into the launch complex we can get those cracked out pretty quickly we'll have to have a look anyway let's get on with some actual launches right so here we are with the it's the atlatl isn't it yeah the standard atlatl it's been a while since i've actually played this so you know please stick with me on this one um this is actually got uh 620 units of, of sounding payload in the top because it was built before we had fixed i think the, the limits were fixed they used to be a bit variable so i actually designed it with a bigger a bigger thing on it but now we're down at 500 interestingly when the um I, let's just launch it and then i'll talk to you about it because you know stuff and things right uh turn off that let's just uh, fire some engines let them scroll up and go and then we're gonna go surface, surface, hit it there. So, you notice I've got the flight recorder on the side just to see, because I want to see some distances and details on this, because I don't actually know what its range is. Um, one thing to say, this top nose cone, I wasn't tooling originally, um, or I had tooled it or something like that. It's, it's, it's basically, it's no longer tooled. So, we'll just do a turn there. So it's no longer tooled, and that to me um, was a problem, because actually, if I, if I then, this down at one pitch. If I then um, I can speed this up. If I then went to the VAB and, and went to build this, it was actually taking longer to build than the ones in the queue. So what I did was the ones in the queue I got rid of because uh, I didn't think it was fair. And then I reduced the payload down to 500 and then I tooled this. So the future ones, I think after the one that's currently building, because that was part building, I didn't want to tell myself off that. The current ones have actually got a tool in those and they've only got 500 in them um, so yeah that's different I suppose um, so that that's hopefully uh, it, it's interesting because the game is changing quite a lot at the moment playing this series is quite interesting because uh, you can have things mapped out in your head but it is not what is going to actually happen right let's have a look uh, change this to 45 there we go execute that uh, that was a pointless thing actually i actually didn't turn it to the right thing there we should have turned to 45 probably about 20 seconds ago um we should still get this i'm assuming that we're going to get yeah we should because we're, we're nowhere near what's the we're going to 199 kilometers up so yeah we're, we're going to get this because our actual <laughs> our pro progress our progress marker is at about 45 degrees at that point so you can guess you're going to get it there right Where's my, there's my avionics. We're not doing anything. Are we, have we got anything else on it? You know what? I should have put the, um, the uh, magnetic scan or whatever it is, the, the other piece of science equipment we've gained, I should actually put on board this. But I haven't, uh, which is a bit silly. All right, there we go. All done. Superb. Mission complete. We get, uh, what's this? I, I Do it again. Sea monsters, think about it. Think about what's actually going on. Press the button. So what's that? We're getting reputation. And we're getting confidence. So reputation is the star, confidence is the point of your barrel, right? So we've got reputation, confidence, big chunk of confidence there, isn't it? Wow. And reputation 44. I don't know what that's actually done for us, but um, I'm sure it's been positive. Let's actually have a look. Um, I think we're, yes, yeah, so we've now got a new a new normal for reputation of, of 566. Um, which did we do? Did we use some reputation? Because we sacked one of our engineers or something? Yeah, I think we did. Um, currently, we get a subsidy of 109,000 a year. That's good. We're going to lose 79 of that a year, though, so that's uh, something to to worry about. Now, of course, at the end of that, we we range safety. We didn't we didn't let it go flying off into a random village on the coast of Australia or anything like that. There's no no clear wreckage been dropped on Australia. We definitely range safety that one. Anyway, let's move on a bit without without talking too much about that. So next mission. In fact, let's just check. We have got. Uh, I like this because we now we've got multiple missions. We can actually you know, see. So these are going to take 135 days. I think that's changed again, by the way. I think it was actually 120 last time. I can't remember. It's uh, it's being refined constantly. So um, the 3,000 kilometer downrange, I think we can do with the new. Well, we, I know we can with the new launch complex. That will be doable. The question will be uh, when we do it, because once that's done, I can then take the launch contracts, the orbital contracts, and they have a lot more money for them. Um, we also want to get these done, but let's not worry about that. So next mission, this one, it's an optional one, but we're going to do it because we can. Uh, 350 meters per second. This is going to be interesting because I can't remember how this plane flies. Right, we are in the air. I'm just waiting for the engines to start up. Here we go. There we go. Engines are go, go. 
I think. I've not done an air launch for a while with a jet engine. What's our what's our thrusty like? Okay. So we're doing 180 at the moment. And I'm actually going to do something I don't normally do. I am going to use where's the button? Where's the button? There we go. I don't normally use this, but where is my um Autopilot module manager? Yes, that's what I want. We're going to try something that I don't normally do. Uh, we're going to choose um, cruise um, angle of attack. Was it? I want to open that. No, nope, I don't want that. No, nope, I don't want that. Uh, cruise flight control. Ah, oh, there we are. Yeah, that looks interesting. Um, I would like us to go to altitude. And is that going to start gaining me altitude? I don't know. Hmm. That's interesting. Speed controller. That's shut everything off. So I want to go to 355. There we go. Uh, that's nice. And then I would like my altitude to go to uh, 10,000. Will it, will it start tipping up? Is it going to do that? Turn that off. Is that off? Do that. There we go. Ooh, do a violent, a violent rise because we're trying to get up. Because in, in case of our engines actually exploding, is actually the main concern that I have. Um, so let's see if this takes us up. You see the the actual engine temp drops a little bit because the air gets thinner. Uh, we've got nice big wings, so we so we should be okay. Um, we do this manually, but I just find this is this is a different way of doing it, isn't it? It's like we've got a robot, robotic plane going on here. Right, let's see, we're, we're gaining a bit of speed here, but I actually think I want to go to uh, 11, there we go, J jar it up again, and then we'll, we'll see what happens, maybe we'll take it to 12 and drop it a little bit, um, yeah, can we get to 350 is the problem, that would be the, the big aim, uh, let's have a look, right, let's see, so we need to get to 350 at least. Right, we are we are speeding up. So let's let's get the plane going. Okay, so we're going up and up and up and up. How much time we've got? 40 minutes of burn time on this. That's not a problem. Here we go. And see the surface speed is going up. We're getting up there. Is it going to get over 350? I'm actually tempted to let it see how high, how fast it can go, and then we'll know its limit. It's going to get to 350, isn't it? Yeah, now is it going to get over 375 is the question. Right, our time has begun. Is it going to be able to get over 375? I think it is. That's interesting. 375? I think, I predicted this when I built it would get to 400. With those two engines, I thought 400 would be a possibility. Um, it'd be nice if we get to 400. I don't think we can get higher than 400. Now the question is, if I can get to 400, I think one of the next missions is 400. I think it's got a target of either 400 or 450. Um, the other thing is, we are not doing the correct... Ah, now, yes. Yeah, this requires 450 for supersonic flight. Okay. Um, we're going to back it down to, to that there, put the speed control on. So the engine's going to cut out. Now it's going to yaw yo badly. There we go. Uh, you might want to fire the engines up, please. There we go. Okay. Now it's going to build it up again. Because we need to get that speed up, obviously. There we go. Now it's going to slow the engines. Seriously? Wow, that's that's an interesting approach you've got there. Right, we're just going to let that run through. Um, I don't see what's below us. Is that the lake below us? I think it is. It's the, it's the fake lake. Um, up there, good. Right, is that going to be completed? It is got another minute to go. Are we off target? No, it's just a lovely, lovely panorama of the of the world, isn't it? Oh, lovely. Right. I would like us to. I don't know. Let's go down to when this is done. Are we done yet? We've got twenty seconds. We're going to drop the speed to about one hundred and. Or 150, 200, 175. I'm going to drop the altitude to uh, 3,000. There we go. 
and we're going to just do this let it ride itself down a bit this is where it's going to really overshoot and hit the ground though isn't it this is where we lose the plane after all that time building it oh whoa that was a bit of g-force there almost killed the pilot almost ripped the wings off not yourself do not do this oh, we're going through the going through the this is lovely isn't it right I'm just gonna just gonna let it do that I think uh, we'll just fast forward. Yeah, fast forwardy. We're in the clouds right now. That's why we're dark. That's that's the that's the the beautiful image of us in the clouds, isn't it? There we go. Right. Let's see uh, what to do with this. Uh, we do have to get it to land at some point. I don't want to put it over the water. Um, can we take it to like? Let's try it to three hundred. How fast can this go, this low down? No, 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 no. 200 is probably the limit, isn't it? Let's get ready to drop it. So it can... Okay, it could... That's interesting. 325. Can it do 325? It can. Okay, can it do 350 lower down? I bet it can't. I'm going to get ready to drop it to, if it starts to overheat. Can it do 350 at that altitude? It can just... Although, actually, I think it probably can do better than that. Do 200. There we go. Let it slow right down. Right. Um, I think we're probably ready to, to land this. So let's take it down to... Um, uh, take it down to 2,000. And then pull it up. There we go. Let's take that to 150. And in fact, we'll take it to 100. There we go. And then we'll actually cut the engines. Uh, we'll do that. Turn that off, turn that off. Do that. Engines are off. Fire parachutes. And are we good? Parachutes are away. We could have put landing gear on this. And yes, I know, I could have put landing gear on this. The craft could actually probably take off from the runway as well if I put landing gear on. However, I've said before, the surface around Australia is horrendous for, for balance and things like that. So we're not doing that. Right, we're going to land this thing down. Uh, how far have we got to go down? Oh, 1,000 meters. How wonderful. We'll slow it down because we're coming up to our parachute deployment point. There we go. And uh, yeah. Elsie, Elsie Gray is going to be the uh, the fastest jet propelled person in the world. Well, she's not actually, because um, yeah, it's 1950, 1954, isn't it? I mean, it's not. I think I think I think we'll find that actually other com countries have gone faster with jet engines at this point. The British are behind. Yeah, right. I'm going to let this get to the ground and then we shall move on. And gently does it down to the ground. Bet the nose bricks. No, nope, there we go. Oh, beautiful! There we go. Gentle, gentle. I mean, yeah, maybe we should try it with 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 undercarriage. Um, if you're interested, there you go. There's the there's the intakes. There's the shape of the craft. It's a beautiful little one, isn't it? Very nice. Very nice design. Very um, sort of British-ish. Apart from that, obviously, but they've got a Union flag on it, so that counts, right? Let's let's go see how we're doing. Right, Elsie Gray. After that, a wonderful flight is now going to be away for what two weeks? Uh, three weeks. She's having a three weeks holiday. Um, and she has gained 41 days on her thingy, so she's going to be with us until basically um, uh, another six years, which is very nice, wonderful. Um, we're going to do that, okay, that's good. Uh, you can see we're now up to um, 110,000 funds per year from our subsidy, and we've got a chunk, a huge chunk, total confidence earned. Two, why have we all oh, used some? That's why, because we started a new king. So, one thing we have to be aware of, and let's just uh, let's just do this. One thing that we have to be aware of, and you can all watch this now. We're recovering all of our stuff, all the launch pads and stuff are getting fixed. Right, we've recovered the Derwent. We're going to edit it, like we always do, so we get it prepared for the next flight. And as always, it arrives up here, so you can move it around, or you can just go. Let's build. Let's go to the J1. There we are. Put it there. Save edits. It's going to take 22 minutes to do all of the edits because engines so we can go and have a look we can see it's going to be done in 20 to 13 minutes actually so warp to complete how's it got 13 minutes when it said it's gonna be 22 i'm gonna prep it for air launch because why not 
That's going to take a couple of days. Wonderful. And then here's something interesting. So if this was one of our launch complexes, the launch complexes, when you stop using them, their efficiency drops. But the hangar is always at max efficiency. So we don't need these, these people in the hangar right now working. So I'm going to just figure something out, whether it classes them as not being used. So our balance is currently plus 48. If we go to, uh, let's see, control, and I go like that. There we go. Look at that. We're getting a big chunk of balance in. Because those staff aren't needed. They're not actually doing anything right now because the two craft are ready. They're not building anything. Um, you can see our other stuff. We go to the Atlatl, that's still doing it normal rate, wonderful. If we go, uh, and that's it, we've only got the two the two things now because we close, of course we closed down the other one. Uh, it means that technically we could actually increase our construction rate on this or we could get a few more staff in for research. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna build up the funds a little bit. We've only got 6,000 funds at the moment because of purchasing new staff. Although saying that, you know what? I don't like the 160 as a thing. We could to go to 175. I've only got enough for 20. Uh, I only need 15. Let's do that. Let's go 175. There we go. 175 makes it better. And then if we're looking here, let's have a look. Oh, but rocketry is there. So we need to go forward just a smidgen. Just a one smidgen there. And what's that do for us? Yeah, that's good. So we now finish about what four weeks before that's ready to go. That's cool. We can check if we need to make any changes at the last minute. We know we can do that. We've got time for it now. Right. So what's next? Well, that's the problem. You know, we're just waiting for material science and all that to happen. And then we've got another atlatl. So I'm going to rush forward and just get some of this stuff out of the way because it's boring. It's currently November 1954. Let's rush forward and see what happens. Right, we have now finished the material science research, which means we are now on with basic rocketry. Basic rocketry, just to remind you, would give us, uh, let's have a look, the, the Spectre 3 and 2 configs, so they're better. It also gives us the gamma engines. It gives us the Stenter booster. Now, you may be asking, why is the gamma engine there? It's not until later. Technically, the Stenter booster, the, the long burn part of that, went on to become the gamma. So if you look at my gamma configs, it actually has a, uh, the first config here is actually very different to the 201, which is actually in the next the next node. The 201 is, is here, okay? So this this single gamma engine actually is is equivalent to the, the, the sustainer section of the stenter booster. And this stenter, I, I don't know if it's the, the, the booster sustainer combined or what. I need, to, I need to check what's going on with it. Um, anyway, that's what that is. And then that would develop, develop in the future into the Gamma 201 and 301, and then to the Gamma 2 and the Gamma 8, and then into the Larch. But we'll get into that in the future. So we've done that. Is there anything else that we could do? Well, we've got some science. Do I want to spend it on anything? I don't actually want to spend it on anything. No, I don't. Right. Um, let's have a look at missions. Uh, we have a load of missions. This is optional one. It's going to have a while on it. The supersonic one requires we go 450. We can't do that currently with the current engine setup. The rocket plane one mm -hmm. is now ready to go. Is that an optional one? Yes, it is. It's the final of them. Uh, it requires that we're doing 700 meters per second between 10 and 28 kilometers of altitude. We've got to reach 28 kilometers. Um, I think we're going to take that. Um, and then that will then open, mean that this one is then the required one. We can move on to that, just rocket through it. Um, and then that's not being held up anymore. Right, let's go do that, I think. I think we've got crew available, we should have. Right, um, yeah, and you can see we've, we've built up a little bit of funds. So let's um, let's launch the Crummock, I think. I have just gone to start this and let me just show you something. If we do that, we have no trained crew. That is because I'm so used to not playing with trained crew. So I've set LC Gray on to do uh, something. We need to do a mission for, let's see, you're doing proficiency, you're doing that. So we're gonna start the training on that. Um, that's gonna be finished in six days. So we have to wait for six days. That's annoying. And then yours will be finished and we'll just rock through to it. Okay, so we'll just we'll just wait for these to come through. There we go. Done. 
completed the following returns changed no earlier than that wonderful we can now actually launch it um, and the others will be ready to rock and roll i wish there was a thing that showed you what they were able to do so what what the all what the astronauts are actually gave oh i suppose there's proof into mission trend expires oh you have to look at them individually I would really like it if you didn't have to do that. So you've got proficiency with that, proficiency with that. You're going to be training that. And then you're currently got proficiency with that. Okay. So your next one is probably going to be... Do we need we do we need three people with the X-15? I don't think so. Um, but we need to keep rolling this crew around. Right. Let's just launch this then. Get ready and done. Right. We are go, go, go. Um, at some point, I'm going to fire the engines. Um... Like now maybe and now there we go right so oh oh what's this lot because we've got a launch complex efficiency increase missed that when we finished up so when we got the um the upgrade we've got a launch complex efficiency upgrade. i need to take that into account actually right uh we're supposed to be going up a bit aren't we so let's let's get this up we're not really uh what we're doing we, we're not gonna we only have to get over 40 and maintain speed don't we uh, uh, what speed am I supposed to be doing? I'm supposed to be doing 700 between those out. I'm supposed to be doing uh, between that. Okay. Well, I, I'll just level off when I get to uh, uh, that altitude. There we go. There. Is that, is that okay? Now, obviously, we should get a huge amount of lift coming up now. Um, and then I need to pull up and go for it. In fact, you know what? Let's pull up and go for it. Oh, wait, yeah, we should, because this thing, if I remember rightly, this thing has quite a lot of uh, Delta V on it. In fact, you can see it's got over, almost 2,000 left on it. It's a bit of a beast, actually. Um, I wonder if we could actually launch a craft like this to orbit. That is an idea. It's very British, wouldn't it? Be the, uh, the very, British, very British approach. One of the ideas, actually, while, while, we're thinking, while we're thinking, that the British came up with was taking their blue steel missile and putting a cock down the front of it. Which is sort of what we've done here, actually. This is this is sort of the same as a, a, a kerosene HTP fueled stentor engine on the back, and then it had the cockpit would have been stuck on the front. Wham bam! Thank you very much. That was the idea. We have a bit of a problem with one of the engines. Which one is it? It is the left engine. Okay. Uh, interesting. I'm actually going to do something interesting. I'm shut it off. I'm going to shut that one as well. There we go. We're going to burn the others to completion, I think. Uh, and just, just see what we can do. Mainly because I quite like the idea of... Are we above, is it above 40? Do we get it? It is above 40. Do we get it? So we can just do this. Can't we? Just do a bit of that. There. I don't even know what my apoapsis is right now. 61. Okay. So we could actually do that. We could actually have a, a, a fifth engine in there and shut all the outer ones down and run a single engine just as a cruise engine a bit like Stenter actually have have four thrust chambers and then one one cruise chamber I suppose it'd be how much are we doing on this by the way we've got 17 minutes for high altitude flight what does high altitude flight require uh, it requires what that we're doing over 650 okay and we're over is that it I thought it was, yeah, it's over 40, isn't it? Yeah, we've got to be over 40. Okay. So we're just we're just going to level this out. And then this engine is going to go. There we go. So we lost the top. So the top and bottom of the last two that go on. These two have lost their, their heat glow already, which is quite nice. Um, if you're interested, um, yeah, there is a problem. <laughs> if anybody wants to play with it, these engines do no longer gimbal. Originally, when I did this, I had the engines at gimbal. Um, the actual models gimbaled. Now I can't get the models to gimbal. Okay. So a horrible little glitch. At some point, it would be nice to actually do some modeling of engines and stuff like that. But I am not an en a 3D modeler. I have tried it. It is not something that I am good at. Uh, why is this stopped? Oh, because I stopped it. Wow. See, monsters, you literally just stopped the, the science. Right, let's... Uh, let us just continue on with this. Let's see how we're doing. Uh, there is a limit to how much of this you can actually get in one flight, I noticed. Um, so we need to be going over 650 and we need to be over, over that. So I wonder if we could, can we, can we, can we pull up? Is the possibility to pull up there? Is that a possibility? Is that going to slow our, our fall? It is slowing the fall a little bit, but I don't think 
it's going to be enough to stop us going through the the 40 kilometer range you can see how we've got big wings big wings but you know hmm we are killing it quite nicely i quite like this we'll just hold it like that yeah uh do that because having this high angle of attack should kill a lot of that surface speed and that surface speed is what's going to kill us in the future when we get too hot this cockpit is probably going to be the limiting factor in fact it is the limiting factor. We can see we are coming in too hot. Uh, the question now is, how do I get the temperature down? If I kill that cockpit and I kill a member of crew, that is a problem. Uh, what's the quickest way to do this? I don't know. I don't know how fast that cockpit will radiate heat. Uh, maybe we're coming in too steep and we've actually we've spent too long high up. That is the possibility. Am I going to get a second dip at this? Oh, just short of 40k. We could have got a second dip at the science. Oh, that would have been, that would have been glorious. That would have been, oh, we have done a 60 kilometer height though. That is a new record for us. Okay. Um, right. I am concerned about the heat on that cockpit. It is, um, I think we're going to lose it. I think we're going to lose it. Uh, let's do this and do a bit of that. It's getting a lot of heat in it. It is getting an awful lot of heat. It's getting so much heat in it. I need to get the speed down, but I need to, I don't know if it's better to just dive the nose down and go for it. I'm actually tempted to say we're going to have to do the bail a pilot out. If we lose the pilot, how much is that going to cost me? That's a massive reputation bump if we lose a pilot. We're at 25 kilometers up. And that is on the border. It is glowing. I'm. Do I have ejection ready? Ejection seat? We do have eject. We have eject. Does she have... She does have a parachute. However, ejecting at this speed would be crazy. Surely. Right. Oh, wow. Um, I think we're almost at the limit on this plane then. I think it's probably spent too long going through the, the altitude, the high altitude. I think we need to do a bop and down. It's, it's we've got too much heat built up. And I am massively concerned about it. I want to kill a lot of this velocity. I wish we could come to, you know what, flat spin would actually do me beautifully right now. Let's just see, can we just kill as much of this as possible? Come on. In instability of craft would actually be better for us. Just kill off all the velocity. Yeah, I'm fine with that. That's good. A flat spin, not a problem for us. I mean, you know, potentially it is for you. Let's be entirely right. I mean, it is potentially a bit of a problem for you. I think that's cooled down. I think that is cooling down. I think we've killed off enough. I mean, potentially we are killing you right now because we are we are properly... Can we actually think... I've forgotten how difficult this thing is to actually sort it. When this craft gets into a spin, it's not easy. It is not easy. Come on, point down. Point down. Point down. There we go. Come on. It just bobbles around the marker. Come on. Other way, other way, other way, other way, other, no, other way, other way. Right, come on, there we go. That's it, under control. Right, that is uh, not a maneuver that I would recommend ever to anybody. Um, the cockpit is still hot. Um, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to pull you up because if I don't come down slowly with this, we're gonna, we're gonna cook it. The air friction, the, the friction with the air is, is going to be just killing us. So we want to just to, to hold it down like about there. That's it. If I had air brakes, this would be a lot easier. Um, in fact, bit of, no, not that. <laughs> not that. A uh, bit of, bit of that is probably the best idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just, just turn the craft slowly with the, uh, with the tail. That's a brilliant idea. This is the ultimate way of slowing your craft down as it falls obviously i'm not sure this is in the flight manual so most things wow okay can we put it down a bit i do need to lose altitude 
As soon as we get the parachutes open, we should be all right. It's about getting the parachutes open that's going to kill us. Um, right, let's have a look. What did we do for the sciencey suit food on this one? What's on board? 0 0.6. Is that all we got? Okay, right. We did transmit 0 0.5. Are we actually transmitting? We transmitted some science. Well, did we? What what science did we transmit? That's interesting. Right. Definitely cooling down. That that cockpit is looking a little bit less dangerous right now. Um, using the advanced sea monsters turn your tail approach to landing. Uh, we can put the nose down a bit more because we are... I want to try and keep the surface speed reasonable, about 200. Um, just doing this. I'm going to arm the parachutes because I need them to go as soon as possible. We'll put the nose down a bit more. We are going to gain a bit of speed, but I'm okay with that. Right now, it's about us getting down. And actually, firing the parachutes will take... There we go. We've lost the heat. Oh, thank goodness. Wow. Interestingly, looks like we had a problem with one of the engines that we... Oh, yeah, that was the, the slow burning one, wasn't it? One of them's still okay. Two of them are Randy shoes. So, let's actually have a look. Where's my... Where's my... Where's my... Where's my thing? Where is it? Where are... Where are you? Where are... You? There you are. Just a performance loss. Okay. So, the others are just... Something's just wrong with them in general. I don't know why the colours are different. I've never really figured that out. Right. We are now slowing down beautifully. We are... You know what? This is going to end up coming down over water or something, isn't it? If you are sticking with me while we do this, congratulations. I'm not sure I would stick with this video at this point. Um, here we go. Oh, to get a bit of getting it, grabbing it, grabbing it, grabbing it. We're going to just slow it down a bit. Here we are. Good, 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 good. And then the parachutes are away. And wonderful. Let go of the controls. Sorted. Right. I'm going to get this down to the ground. Then we shall see the outcome. We've got a little bit of something there, haven't we? Tiny, tiny thing. Uh, but we are attempting the other mission, which is this one. We've got to, we've got to land. Right. Let's get this down and see what's happening. Right. We have got a total of 0.6 science from flying high. Uh, thank you. We got um, nothing from that. I don't know. What was the science? We must have got science from from crew report or something anyway right uh, you can see recovery will take infinite time because we don't have any staff in the hangar so we have to go over here and go staff to hangar one day there we go put that into there uh we'll finish that well done somebody's finished their training wonderful uh, go along there we are right brilliant and then we're gonna we're gonna go and we're gonna take the chromic and we're going to uh fix it again we just have to wait for what is it 10 hours there we go we'll let it do its stuff and things all good then we can prep it for air launch again done and then when that's done we come back over to in fact we before we do that we'll just have a look we'll get 25 uh, we'll come back over to our staff we'll go here hit the, the alt button control button sorry do that back to getting funds for them and we're just going to wait. We're going to rinse and, and relax. So if I put this back onto a number of days, uh, we can see that we're looking at basic rocketry in 66 and then orbital in 200. So 260 days is going to put us uh, partway through 20, uh, sorry, 1955, 2055. God, oh, that'd be terrible. Um, we have uh, this contract here, which we're going to do. Uh, we've got downrange ones, which we've got to wait for another 70 days to do. Uh, we've got this optional one, which is 400, which I don't think we can do until we've got the new engine. So we're going to let that just build up. And then we've got the high altitude one, which is now doable. So um, we can knock that out for now. So I think we'll probably do this and its next one. Get them out of the way. Um and be done with that and then that basically takes us to just waiting for the next 240 days so with that from me until next time have a great one so if that was good for you check out on the screen right now some links you can see other videos you might like check out the channel see if there's any playlists you like there's also some links to other content creators there you might like or leave a comment down below like subscribe do all those things